Hey, good afternoon. I'm Chief Todd Bone with the Bridgeton Fire Department. Captain Anthony Brago, the Bridgeton Fire Department. I'm Mrs. Arpino from Broad Street School. Y yo soy Vistana Vera de Broad Street School también. And so we're here today. It's uh, Fire Prevention Week. It's the end of Fire Prevention Week. As everyone knows, with the uh, global pandemic we're dealing with, things are a little different this year. Normally we're out in the schools being able to interact with students and bring our fire safety messages to you. We're going to do something a little bit different this year, Kevin. Yeah, so we're going to start with the smoke detector and go over the smoke detector and some tips on how to keep ourselves safe and make sure that it's working. So, usualmente este año nosotros, nosotros recibimos a los bomberos a, nuestro, a nuestra escuela, pero con el COVID, este año decidimos hacer las cosas un poco distintos y estamos aquí en, en la estación de bomberos de Bridgeton. Sí, y vamos a comenzar aprendiendo sobre el detector del humo. Es algo que ustedes deben tener en su casa y ellos van a explicar por qué. Ok, so, first thing we usually like to talk about is that the most important thing with a smoke detector is, do you have one? And uh, normally we ask for a raise of hands and hope everybody puts their hand up, but um, you got to make sure you have one first. Before you even learn anything about it, you have to have one in your house. So you should have something like this in your house. They've been getting a little different over the years. Uh, anymore, they're usually a, a 10 year battery that's in them and they don't take you know, some different batteries. Normally they take, take a, either 9 volt or uh, double A's. You'll put batteries in them and the problems we used to have are people taking the batteries out of them and not having them in there. Sí. So, estamos eh, hablando sobre el detector de humo y que en todas las, las casas deberíamos detenernos. Con los años el detector de humo ha cambiado usan baterías, algunos tienen la batería puesta. So it's very important that sometimes if the, the, the smoke detector is making a chirping noise, it means it needs a new battery and it means you have to replace this. Uh, if there's no battery in it, it's not going to chirp and tell you, so it's important not to take these out even if you need your, your TV remote or your toy or anything needs a battery. Go get another one. This is more important to have that battery in it and if it's making a chirping noise, you want to put a new one in and at a very minimum, twice a year you want to change those batteries so when you change your clocks you go ahead or go back make sure you change your batteries okay so it's bien importante que si escuchan el ruido el pequeño ruido que está comenzando a salir del detector tenemos significa que tenemos que cambiar las baterías si no está haciendo ruido por favor no saquen las baterías para usarlo para juguetes o para otras cosas so necesitamos de que usualmente cambiamos las baterías dos veces al año para recordarlo, lo, cam lo cambiamos cuando cambiamos el reloj hacia adelante o hacia atrás. Okay, Cap, tell them a little bit about where they, they should put these things in their house. Sure. So, you can place a smoke detector in every one of the bedrooms in the home just for extra safety, but at a minimum, we recommend that a smoke detector is in the hallway of the bedrooms and on every floor of the house, and not specifically not near the kitchen on the first floor just due to burning food or something of that nature always setting the detector off. So certainly one in the basement, certainly one on the first floor, not in the area of the kitchen, and certainly in the, all the areas of the bedrooms or in every bedroom themselves. Okay, so estamos hablando sobre donde debemos colgar el detector del humo en su casa. Y es muy importante que ustedes tienen un detector del humo en cada piso de su casa. Uno en el sótano, otro en el primer piso y también en el segundo piso. Si uh, ustedes tienen muchos cuartos, es bueno tener uno en el pasillo entre los cuartos o uno en cada cuarto. También no quieres colgarlo muy cerca de la cocina porque va a sonar muy frecuentemente. And also, uh, one other thing is, there is a button on here that says push to test. Once a month, you should push this button to ensure that the smoke detector is working and operational. So I'm going to push it now so everyone is aware of the noise that the smoke detector makes if there is fire or smoke inside your home. And here comes the noise. All right, so you're gonna hear a series of slow beeps. That is an activation. That means that there is fire or smoke inside of the residence. A single beep every minute or so, a little chirp, 
is when the battery is dying, is indicating that the battery needs replacement. Okay, so él está mostrando que hay un botón que ustedes pueden usar para chequear si funciona el detector del humo. Si suena como pip, 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 enseguida, eso significa que ustedes tienen un incendio o hay, hay humo en su casa. Si um, ustedes escuchan el sonido como cada minuto, de vez en cuando, significa que está baja las pilas y ustedes tienen que cambiarlas. Okay, great. And Chief, do you want to talk about how they can get a hold of some detectors? Sure. So uh, at the fire department, if you didn't have a detector uh, and you need one, call the fire department. We're here 24 hours a day, seven days a week for you. Uh, if you live within the city of Bridgeton, we can get you t detectors. If you're in the outside areas, we'll point you where you need to get to because there are free ones available. We want to make sure that if you don't have one, that you get one. We'll tell you how to install it. We'll do everything we can to make sure you're safe. And uh, so make sure you contact us here at the fire department uh, at the headquarters and let us know if you need one. So, como es tan importante, si usted necesita un detector de humo y no lo tiene, pueden llamar al departamento de bomberos aquí en la ciudad de Bridgeton. Y si está en las afueras de Bridgeton, también pueden llamar para que ellos puedan ayudarle y decirle con quién pueden comunicarse. Es importante que si no lo tienen, por favor, Si necesitan tener uno, que ellos están aquí 24 horas al día y usted puede llamarlo y decirle que necesita uno. And so we want to thank the uh, Bridgeton Public Schools for helping us produce this video and coming out to help us translate and allowing you to come into our firehouse and do things a little differently. Normally we're coming into your schools and this gives us a chance for you to come into our firehouse and hear some safety tips and uh, we appreciate the time.